What is up and is going guys, Simsy here and to debut of another episode of my Real Madrid career mode and to start the episode off we have a simulation match. I simmed the match against Borussia Dortmund. Uh, basically I'm going to tell you why you might think, hey, why don't you play the quarterfinal match against Dortmund? Well, in saying that it is the quarterfinal match. Uh, we won the last match 3-2, I do know, but I was quite comfortable seeing it was a home match and we ended up winning 2-3 and regardless guys, um, if we do win, we've got we still got the the semis and we've got the quarters, the preliminals and the semis. I think. But anyway, we've still got a lot more Champions League action to go. And the uh, settings we won away at uh, Borussia Dortmund, we had the advantage at home, and I felt quite comfortable to play it. So we do have a Champions League match now against Manchester City. It should be interesting to see um, the semi-finals. As a matter of fact, not the preliminaries. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of AFL. But the top scorers for the Champions League are Max Cruz from Bayern Munich and Gladbach, Bale from Real Madrid, and Remy from Newcastle. So uh, it's surprised to see that Remy's up there. I would have thought that maybe a Borussia Dortmund or even a, a Manchester City player would be up there. But we do have our uh, semi-finals against Man. Uh, against Manchester City and we are playing at the Eddie Hat. So yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how we come across uh, Manchester City. They do have a very strong side with uh, Negredo, uh, Zabaleta, Yaya Torre and you can't forget David Silva. He'd be we could even bring him into the squad. I'm not too sure of his age but he'd be alright. But in the fifteenth minute 36 goals in all competitions, Gareth Bale, and if anyone was going to get us off to a good start, it would be him in the semi-finals, and we do need to win this match away to cement, hopefully cement our Champions League finals hopes. So you guys have been, I've been reading the comments, and you guys were saying, uh, basically on the topic I said in the last episode, who I should replace Ronaldo with, and I was going on about how in a couple of years, in a couple of seasons, we were going to have to replace Ronaldo, and who would be a good candidate, and I didn't feel that Javi Hernandez could live up to him. And people like Simpsy, you have so many good young players, you have Morata, you have Jesse Rodriguez, or I think it's Jesse, Jess Rodriguez, Rodriguez regardless, and I uh, pretty much said you should give them more game time. I do, I think I do both of them currently, both have them low, no, maybe one isn't, but anyway, um, I have given Jesse Rodriguez chances. And uh, on paper, he looks good. He's young, he's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot, and he's going to live up to be a good player. Uh, I've got a shit goal from there from Marcelo. <laughs> nice little shitty celebration and uh, nice starts. He's actually scored six goals in all competitions from a left back, which isn't too bad. Uh, it was actually a pretty outrageous shot there, and it managed to come off... Uh, I can't, maybe that was, looks like it was Clichy's head there. Um, <laughs> shocking defending from Manchester City. As I was saying, um, Jesse Rodriguez looks good on paper, but I don't know what it is with him. I just can't seem to play with him. Morata, I haven't given much of a chance, but um, we are now, at the end of the day, we are Real Madrid. Um, who doesn't want to play for us? We're one of the best clubs, we're the best club in the world, especially in this career mode at the moment. We've got so many good players, and we have money, so we can go out and spend, like, even if there's some overpriced young players, uh, maybe at some of the top clubs, we do have the money to afford it. Um, maybe if you guys are looking for like a, I don't know, uh, maybe you guys look for like a road to glory kind of thing where I build up with a, a lower league team and build up, maybe that's what you're looking for, but you're probably not going to get in this career mode. Um, I'm basically just going to go out, buy amazing players, and uh, well, in saying that, I will buy some players for growth. Um, as you saw at the start, I did by Adriana and Naki, but, um, yeah, maybe you guys, uh, yeah, put in the comment section down below, would you, um, would you, would you, basically, do you want me to continue this Real Madrid career mode? I'm enjoying it, uh, I would like to do at least one more season, but in the future, what type of career mode would you like me to do? Um, uh, maybe, I could start with, like, an Empowership team, uh, Empowership 1, I don't think I want to go any lower than that, because I do one, one league in the Empowership, one, one league in the championship and then one in the Barclays Premier League and maybe furthermore, which I kind of did with Wolverhampton. It was quite fun, but uh, yeah, what would you like to see? And unfortunately here, guys, speaking of replacements for Ronaldo, and uh, basically say he's unhappy and uh, we actually got an injury here with Thiago Silva, so we're going to bring him out. Uh, and I was right. Uh, I thought I had Jesse Rodriguez and uh, Morata online. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm predicting the future. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, we won a match against 4-1 against Valencia. Jesse Rodriguez, Hernandez, Ozil, and 
Isco scored for one. We had a match against Osasuna. Gareth Bale ended up scoring a goal. And I don't know what's up with my defenders. They seem to get injured. Bahrain got brought on to Thiago Silva managed to get injured, so which is not good. But he's out for two weeks, so I'm not having luck here. And Gareth Bale, my star striker uh, at the moment, picked up a red card. So I'm going to bring on Javi Hernandez as a replacement. And I'll bring on Manata off the reserves. Vidal can come back into the squad. Uh, and I'm going to move Ake out for Alaba, I do believe. So, um, yeah. Alaba's a good player. He can play on the left mid. Uh, left. He, he can play buddy everywhere, I swear. Um, he can play left mid, uh, left back, centre defensive mid. He's such a good player. Uh, we end up having a simulation match against Celtica Vigo and we end up winning 2-1 away. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day after you've watched this Real Madrid career mode. So this has been Simpsy. I'm out later, my friends. Goodbye. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up when I've posted a video and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.